Developing now on ABC Big 2 News. Developing tonight, another deadly shooting in Odessa. Police say officers responded to Medical Center Hospital just before 1 early this morning. That's where they found a teenage boy who was taken in for a gunshot wound. He later died. Good evening, I'm Rob Tu. Thanks for joining us tonight. We start with this tragic shooting. A 16-year-old and a juvenile have been arrested for the death. And here's what we know tonight. OPD says the victim is 19-year-old Josiah Marufo. So far, police say the investigation shows the victim was riding with several teens inside of a vehicle. At some point, one of them shot 19-year-old Marufo with a handgun. Now police say a 16-year-old has been charged with murder and tampering with evidence. A second juvenile has been charged with tampering with evidence too, as well as two counts of stolen property. Now police say that's two stolen handguns. Both the suspects have been taken into the Ector County Youth Center. Tonight their identities aren't known because of their age. Meantime, the investigation continues. We want to stand between evil and you and we're going to redouble our efforts. Also developing tonight, a massive vigil was held to honor the lives of the four Michigan students who were murdered at their school last Tuesday in the town of Oxford. Tate Meyer, Madison Baldwin, Hannah St. Juliana, and Justin Schilling were honored during the vigil. It started with four minutes of bells and one minute for each of the victims. One, involuntary manslaughter which is punishable by up to 15 years in prison. In Michigan, the parents of accused school shooting suspect Ethan Crumbly had their first court appearance today after being arrested. Now, James and Jennifer Crumbly had a Zoom call this morning with prosecutors. The couple is facing charges in connection to the deadly shooting last Tuesday. Their 15-year-old son is facing a number of charges, including four counts of first-degree murder. Tonight, ABC's Elizabeth, Elizabeth Schulze explains why it took so long for the parents to show up in court. James and Jennifer Crumbly were arraigned in court after an overnight manhunt led to their capture by police. And how are you pleading to count one? Not guilty. The couple appearing virtually in court. Jennifer breaking down as the charges were read. Each faces four counts of involuntary manslaughter in the deaths of four students from Oxford High School. Both pleading not guilty. The judge set their bond at half a million dollars each. The court does have some concern about the flight risk along with the public safety given the circumstances that occurred yesterday. The Crumbleys were supposed to turn themselves in on Friday after prosecutors announced charges against them in the Tuesday attack. Instead, according to authorities, they fled to nearby Detroit where they were arrested in a commercial building after police received a tip. The lawyers for the Crumbleys say their clients weren't running and were intended to turn themselves in on Saturday. When we were informed we had an active warrant for them, uh, there was some communication that came in to one of our detectives that said that they were going to uh, arrange for their arrest to turn themselves in, and you know that's fine. We don't wait for that. Prosecutors say their son Ethan carried out the shooting using a gun purchased by his father days earlier as a Christmas present for him. Prosecutors also allege the Crumbleys were aware of disturbing and violent images found on their son's desk the morning of the shooting, including a drawing confiscated by a teacher showing a gun, blood, and the words, the thoughts won't stop, help me. The notion that a parent could read those words and also know that their son had access to a deadly weapon that they gave him is unconscionable, and, it, and I think it's criminal. The Crumbly's lawyers claim the couple kept the gun that was used in the shooting locked up. They could face up to four 15-year prison sentences if convicted. Their son Ethan has been charged as an adult with more than two dozen counts, including four counts of first-degree murder. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News. We have an update tonight on the man accused of killing 10 people last March in Colorado. The mass shooting happened at a packed grocery store in the college town of Boulder. But tonight, the suspect is now headed to a mental hospital. ABC's Vincent Arenas reports it is still possible for the suspect to face a jury. Today, the district attorney said the trial of the man accused of killing 10 people at the King Supers in Boulder will come to a halt, at least for now. 
the doctor, who's a widely respected expert, found the shooter to be incompetent to stand trial. The shooting happened back in March. Since then, Boulder County DA Michael Doherty said Alyssa had been found to be mentally incompetent three different times. Four doctors, including doctors chosen by prosecutors, came to the same conclusion. So we have determined that the best course of action is to have him sent to the state hospital in Pueblo, where he can be medicated and treated and brought back to restoration so that he can stand trial. Being declared mentally incompetent is different from claiming insanity as a defense. In this case, the accused shooter is expected to still face a jury. I will say with all four doctors reaching the same conclusion, and in particular this most recent evaluation being an incredibly thorough and detailed report, that I believe the best course of action at this time in order to ensure justice is done is to have him sent to the state hospital as quickly as possible. The district attorney would not elaborate on Alyssa's condition for now, nor would he say if he was taking any medications. His progress will be checked every 30 days. That was Vincent Arenas reporting. To stay up to date with more developing news and other top stories, just head to our website, nerdbasin.com. Well, the last solar eclipse of the year is tonight. It's when the moon comes between the sun and the earth, casting a shadow on our planet. Antarctica is expected to experience the full totality of this eclipse. That will, less, that will last less than two minutes. Other good places to watch include New Zealand, Argentina, and South Africa. April 2023 is the next forecasted date. And speaking of forecast, here's Bridget with weather. Now, your big two forecast first. Well, friends, let's get into some weather front. Feels good to be here and actually feeling, feeling good. Today's temperatures, say today West Texans were able to enjoy 69 degree 69 degree heat. Usually around this time, you know, so close in and into December, we're definitely used to 61 degree temperatures. So 8 degrees warmer than usual, but not as warm as we were back in 1954 when we were sitting at a nice and steamy 85 degrees. I'll have more of that warm forecast later on the show. Back over to you, Rob. You don't need to go elsewhere to find these things. You don't need to order them online. They're here. Support your neighbors. Support our community. Well, the holiday spirit is in downtown Odessa tonight between the Parade of Lights and Winterfest Market. ABC Big Two Zavi Cargloth joins us live from the studio tonight. Avi, these local events are generating quite the festive buzz. Yeah, well, Rob, downtown was super busy today, serving as a hub for people to get out and get excited for the upcoming holidays. And it wasn't just a celebration of the holiday season, it was also a great community gathering. The day started at 1 p.m. with the first Winterfest Market on Texas Avenue between 3rd and 5th Street, which was just a block parallel to the parade route. There were 56 local vendors who were all from the Odessa area, numerous holiday-themed bouncy houses, food, and of course a DJ. The Parade of Lights, meanwhile, starting just a block adjacent, started at 6.30 at the intersection of 23rd and Andrews Highway. There's the Grinch over there waving to the crowd. And it went south, ending at 4th Street and Grant Avenue. That put it right next to the market, which wrapped up not long ago at 9 p.m. Registration for the parade was closed early because so many people signed up to participate. That might be because last year's Parade of Lights was canceled because of COVID-19 concerns. After not having any holiday events last year, downtown Odessans got two of them, much to the community's delight. This is really one of the more, you know, long-lasting and beloved events that happens in Odessa. And to lose it, I think a lot of people really felt it profoundly that, you know, it's really missed. It really wouldn't feel like Christmas. It was not the start to the holidays like it always is. And this year, they really wanted to interject themselves in it and make themselves part of Odessa's Christmas tradition. And that's so exciting that the community really came out in such force. Nowadays, I feel like finding work or finding something you love is hard to do. So if you find something you love, and you, you want to pursue it and do it, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I think this is a good idea because there's a bunch of small businesses that potentially uh, need exposure. And if you missed the Winterfest market today, don't worry. There'll be another one in downtown Odessa on December 18th in two weeks from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Reporting live in studio, Avi Kargloth, ABC Big 2 News. 
Well, across Texas tonight, the sign is now up in front in the front yard of a Harris County home. It says, how the Grinches stole our Christmas display. A family put the sign up because they say a long-standing Christmas tradition of 30 years is coming to an end this year. They're not putting up decorations because of traffic concerns in the neighborhood. Last year, nearly 800 people came by to take a look. Neighbors had their two cents to share. Yeah, I was, it was sad. Just really definitely sad, for the, sad for the neighborhood and just the community itself because they enjoyed it so much, particularly the kids. Oh. The kids really enjoyed it. And the family and their HOA couldn't agree on a traffic solution, but maybe next year. Midland Christian finally gets its chance to play for a state championship coming up in sports. We'll take a look at the highlights from Midland Christian and Dallas Parish Episcopal at the championship game in Waco. And well, friends, today's temperatures have cooled down, but so far it's been a warm December. Will tomorrow feel like winter in the Permian Basin, or will we continue to have a warm winter? I have the answer after the break. And still ahead, one of primetime television's most popular personalities is out of a job tonight. The reasons why? Coming up next. Professionally trained account executives help businesses get results through advertising. We are a results-driven team. Our ABC Big Two account executives love helping your business tell your story to over a half a million people in West Texas. We want to be your marketing partner. We're on fire about growing your business. Don't miss the final days of Black Friday at Ashley Home Store. Last chance to save up to 50% off. Find this queen upholstered bed now only $369. Plus, enter to win in our $50,000 furniture giveaway. Ends Monday only at Ashley Home Store. Shop Christmas hot deals at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Get up to 50% off ride-ons, up to 30% off Adidas apparel and footwear, and up to $500 off connected fitness equipment. Shop these deals at Academy through December 5th and get free curbside pickup at Academy.com. How can you describe Whataburger's Honey Barbecue Chicken Strip Sandwich? The chicken just has a certain, um, you know, with the sauce. The sauce, it gives you a little bit of... And the cheese, it's the exact right amount of... Whew, it's almost too hard to put into words. Good thing there's... Yeah. Good thing there's the Honey Barbecue Chicken Strip Sandwich at Whataburger. The perfect getaway. Okay, thank you. Stay connected anywhere. Do you like it? It's a new style. It's an oasis. It's delicious. It's elegant. It's relaxing. The MCM Elegante Hotel and Spa. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. Black Friday ends Monday at Ashley Home Store. Save up to 25% off, plus get 0% interest for 12 months. Or get 0% interest for 6 years. Don't miss it. Ends Monday. Only at Ashley Home Store. Watch Samantha Smarechniak and meteorologist Ryan DePhillips at 1130. Your weather authority. We warn you first. Well, friends, let's get into some weather fun. All week, we've had some really warm temperatures, and even today, even though it cooled down a little bit, West Texans were able to enjoy 69-degree temperatures. Usually around this time in December, we're definitely used to 61-degree temperatures, so 8 degrees warmer than usual, but not as warm as we were back in 1954 when we were sitting at a nice and steamy 85 degrees. Taking a look at our lows, we did come in warm for that as well today. 39 degrees for our low. Usually around this 
this time, we're definitely used to 36 degree temperatures, so not too bad for the base. And actually, speaking of the base, and taking a look at everyone else's temperatures, for the most part, everyone in their upper 60s to even close to their lower 70s. Big Spring at 71 degrees, Seminole 66, Mid and Odessa 69 degrees. Our friends of Presidio, where it's always nice and warm, actually became the warmest today at 77 degrees. Marfa at 73, and even Alpine sitting twinning with Big Spring at 71 degrees. But there were some areas, you know, that had a little bit of a cooler of cooler temperatures in their 60s, such as Carlsbad sitting at 65 degrees. So definitely not too bad whatsoever. As we make our way into the evening, we're going to see some of those clouds. It's going to be a mostly cloudy kind of evening. We will be seeing in our 40s, but specifically at 46 degrees. Now we're going to continue to see those that cloud cover into our evening and making our way into Sunday morning. So for our early rises around 6 a.m., that cloud cover is going to continue to remain in the basin, but it's going to clear on out as we get into the afternoon time around 3 p.m. That's where we see Mid and Odessa, Hobbs, Carsbad, a little Pecos, you know, clear for that sun to come on out. But then we still have some of that cloud cover going on in Marfa, Dryden, and Fort Stockton, but definitely not bad at all. Speaking of tomorrow, our day planner, we do love a good day planner. So we're going to start off the day pretty chilly with a little bit of that cloud cover at 47 degrees. Then by noon, it's going to start getting a little bit breezy, increase of our temperatures to 69 degrees. And then by the time we get into 4 p.m., that breeziness is going to bring over that warm air into the basin, increasing our temperatures to 75 degrees. And then pretty similar to tonight, you know, very cool sitting at 61 degrees. But the clouds will leave the area for a mostly clear kind of evening tomorrow. The sun's definitely going to be out, so do be sure to have your shades with you. Now, there, we will see some, you know, wind. So, our, taking a look at our pollen caster, it does read our tree pollen, grass, weeds, and overall, just looking at a low level, so not bad whatsoever. I do want to bring our attention to the wind. We will see some wind picking up as we make our way into Sunday, specifically around Mid, or afternoon time sitting at 16 miles per hour of wind and pretty much in the you know double digits but definitely not too bad whatsoever we're going to continue on and wake up in our 40s very windy but we will warm on up and that seven day forecast is going to show that we won't stay in our 40s for too long we actually make it to a nice and steamy warm 76 degrees yes we're going to have some clouds but the sun will make its way out by the time we get into around 3 p.m so do be sure to have your shades rob we're going to need our shades for tomorrow. <laughs> Absolutely, Bridget. It's not feeling anything like winter or it's even the fall. Not. It's a warm winter so far. And great <laughs> viewing conditions for the parade tonight in Odessa. Yes. So thank you so much, Bridget. I appreciate it. Well, after a brief suspension, CNN said tonight anchor Chris Cuomo has been fired effective immediately. The announcement came after an outside law firm was retained by the network to review information on how exactly Cuomo helped his brother, former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. And now Andrew Cuomo was accused of sexual harassment. Documents released by the New York Attorney General showed Chris Cuomo, Cuomo sought to use his connections in the press to help prepare his brother's team as accusers made their stories public. Now to new fallout from George Step. Now to uh, the interview with Alec Baldwin. Um, now to that deadly film shooting, excuse me, involving actor Alec Baldwin. Today, the Santa Fe District Attorney is now responding to Baldwin's claims where he said he didn't pull the trigger that killed filmmaker Helena Hutchins. Our Kaylee Hartung spoke with the DA about whether criminal charges are still on the table. This morning, new fallout from George Stephanopoulos' exclusive interview with Alec Baldwin. Honest to God, if I felt that I was responsible, I might have killed myself if I thought I was responsible. I don't say that lightly. The Santa Fe District Attorney, who could press criminal charges, reacting first on ABC News. You can see that he is devastated by what happened. I think that we could all see that he was not expecting that to happen, didn't want that to happen. For the first time, the actor describing the moment he shot Helena Hutchins. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. never. That was the training that I had. You don't point a gun at me and, and pull the trigger. Baldwin saying he was following Hutchins' directions during a rehearsal and never pulled the trigger. And I cocked the gun. I go, can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? And she says, and then I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. 
So now, you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. The FBI examining that gun and the ballistics to see if they back up Baldwin's story. The DA saying it may be early spring before the investigation is turned over to her. There's no evidence that this was intentional. This was clearly an accident, but perhaps a criminal accident. Just because something is an accident doesn't mean that a criminal act didn't occur. Alec Baldwin told ABC News he doesn't believe he will be criminally charged. Is he correct to make that statement this early in the investigation? I would not say that. Baldwin saying he had no reason to suspect a live round could be in the gun and insisting he is not responsible for Hutchins' death. Your emotions are so clearly so right there on the surface. You felt shock. You felt anger. You felt sadness. Do you feel guilt? No, no. I feel that there is, I, I feel that, that, that uh, someone is responsible for what happened, and I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me. For Good Morning America, Kaylee Hartung, ABC News, Los Angeles. Well, Midland Christian had to go through so much just to get to this state championship game. It was a test of endurance for the Mustangs that would even make the Belmont blush with how much this team has been through. Midland Christian in danger of potentially missing the playoffs with two weeks to go in district play, but not only qualified, of course, for the postseason, but with two wins to finish off, finished second in the district in order to secure a first round bye and work their way into the state quarterfinals and get here to the state championship game ready to face Dallas Parish Episcopal. These two teams have had a lot of history, particularly just over the past 12 months. Last year during the regular season, an instant classic and Midland. Parish Episcopal came in and scored a game-winning touchdown in the closing seconds to win by two. They met up in the state semifinals. Parish Episcopal much more comfortably taking care of business en route to their second straight state championship at the time. The Panthers looking for state championship number three in a row. Before the game, though, a heartfelt moment in the stands from the Midland Christian Band. Instead of playing the Midland Christian School song, the Mustang Band honoring the Andrews Band by playing the fight song for those Mustangs. Take a listen. So a beautiful tribute there. The Mustangs ready to take the field in the first quarter. Mustangs won the opening toss, elected to receive, but opening drive, fumble and scoop and score. Daniel Demery for Dallas Parish Episcopal puts them up 6-0 after Miss PAT. But the next drive, the Mustangs responded quickly. Nice pass over the top. River Rodriguez to Eric Barnes and the handoff to Nathaniel Brito down at the one-yard line. And to finish off the drive, as they, as they have done so many times over the past few years, River Rodriguez punched Punches it in. Extra point actually puts him up 7-6. to six, But it was all the Andrew Paul show after that. Star running back for Dallas Parish Episcopal. Slips through some tackles. Gets a touchdown there. Also got the two-point conversion to make it 14-7 Panthers. And then a huge play right here. Breaks so many tackles. And he's got a convoy just kind of picking his spot. He would go all the way down the field. Some 80 yards on the touchdown run. He finished with over 300 in the game. Dallas Parish Episcopal gets the win, 56-17. I said there's not anything they want to hear right now, and there's not really anything I can say other than I love you. You're my guys, and I'll go to war with you any day, and we'll talk this next week. And I love them, you know, proud of them. And that's it. And a couple other scores we wanted to let you know about. UTPV Falcons, it was bowling season for them. They were playing in nearby Corsicana here in Central Texas at the Funtown RV Heritage Bowl. Oklahoma Baptist comes out on top 24-21. Falcons closed the gap to a field goal in the fourth quarter. Couldn't get the defensive stop in the last couple minutes to get the ball back to give themselves a chance for the game-tying field goal. And the Big 12 Championship, how about Baylor outlasting Oklahoma? 
Oklahoma State with a goal line stand in the fourth quarter. 21-16. Bears over the Cowboys. By the way, in that game, former Permian linebacker Matt Jones intercepting Spencer Sanders for Oklahoma State. That set up the second touchdown for the Bears and helped get them on their way to a Big 12 championship. So congratulations to the Bears. Congratulations to Matt Jones. And once again, big congratulations to Midland Christian. 10-3 and three overall this season and got as far as you could come without coming away with the state championship. A lot to be proud for these seniors, these coaches, and these players. That's going to do for sports. Back over to you. Coming up right after the break, a 10-year-old is selling art for thousands of dollars, and people are paying a lot more to get their hands on his latest work. Up next, we meet the so-called child prodigy. It's time to try the brand new Golden Chick Boneless Wings. Tasty, huh? You can choose from three amazing flavors. We got original buffalo, garlic parm, and kickin' Korean barbecue. Oh, you got some uh, on your face, so you might want to, yeah, don't waste any of that. Free napkins with every order. Welcome to Morning in America. Thanks for Now more than ever, Americans are turning to a new news network. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Marnie Hughes. News Nation is the fastest growing cable news network in the country. The programs, the reporters, giving you the facts without the spin, showing all perspectives. This is America's new home for unbiased news. This is News Nation. News for all America. Kathy Eastham Fine Jewelry, celebrating 40 years of extraordinary jewelry. We get it. You had more important things to do. That's why the Black Friday sale at Denver Mattress has been extended. And for a limited time, the more you buy, the more you save. Get 100 bucks off every 1000 you spend and watch the savings stack up. Or get a $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Buy one Doctor's Choice pillow and get the second free for only $69.99. Plus five years no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the extended Black Friday Super Sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. We're checking out. We'll miss you. How was your stay? We traveled all over, and this hotel is our favorite. We love the free breakfast buffet in the mornings and the omelet station. My favorite thing is the super fast Wi-Fi in the room. I can get my work done and plug my PS4 into that huge 50-inch TV and game all night. This is the best sleep I've ever had on the most comfortable bed. And I love the Starbucks coffee and the Bath & Body Works soaps in the room. We'll see you again soon. The MCM Grande Hotel and Fun Dome, Odessa. Get ready for your day with meteorologist Ryan DePhillips. Well, a 10-year-old boy is making a splash in the art world. The young man is awfully talented, and celebrities are already snatching up his work. ABC's Victor Okendo got a chance to meet the artist at an art show in Miami. It's Art Week in Miami, the annual event drawing in some of the most talented artists and collectors from around the world to display their work. Among the masterpieces worth millions, the standout artist this year is only 10 years old. I wanted to do one on canvas. Meet Andres Valencia from San Diego, California. How old were you when you did this? Maybe I was nine. After watching a film about Jean-Michel Basquiat, he told his parents he could paint like that. So this and is totally self-taught. It's self-taught. You know, sometimes I ask him, why? Why do you, why, why the cigarette? And he said, why not? He said, George Kondo uses cigarettes on some of his paintings. During the pandemic, his parents got him large canvases to pass the time during lockdown, and he honed in his skills. He's the youngest artist ever here. This is actually his first show. The Observer, how'd you come up with the name The Observer? He has a lot of eyes. His paintings, just like the greats, are in demand. Every piece sold. The paint had to dry to do the shading. Part of each sale going to the Perry J. Cohen Foundation. He's really a prodigy. He really is. What's most amazing and what touches me the most is that at 10 years old, not only being a great artist, he's also donating a portion of the proceeds of the artwork to the Perry J. Cohen Foundation. So he's a philanthropist also. Andres and his message for all painters, young and old. To keep trying and to not stop. No matter what. Uh -huh. Always.
always keep trying. Yeah. Uh, just amazing. All right, well, another young man is making a splash, this time on the court. Coming up tonight, we have a look at the half-court shot that made one student's entire year a lot better. ABC Big Two Sports, brought to you by Glasheen Valles and Enderman Injury Lawyers. It's time with our families and with our friends. It's what we love. We are Cavenders, and this is how we live. It's our Christmas kickoff sale, and you can get 20 bucks off ladies' corral boots and 20 bucks off men's exotic boots by Justin and Tony Lama. Plus, get 10 bucks off casual shoes by Twisted X and Ariat. Going on now at Cavenders. It's Suddenlink's best holiday deal ever. Power all your new holiday devices with one gig internet for the low price of $49.99 a month. And as a treat, unwrap a $300 Visa prepaid card. HBO Max included on us for one year and a free Wi-Fi extender. Plus, get Suddenlink stream with your favorite shows and streaming apps all in one device. But this deal ends December 5th. Get the speed and reliability of our fastest internet at our lowest price of the season. And with optimum flexibility from Suddenlink, there are no contracts or hidden fees. Visit Suddenlink.com today. Honey, what was your favorite part of the weekend? Professionally trained account executives help businesses get results through advertising. We are a results-driven team. Our ABC Big 2 account executives love helping your business tell your story to over a half a million people in West Texas. We want to be your marketing partner. We're on fire about growing your business. This is Belmont University freshman Quezzy Mensa. He just dreamed that half-court shot like nothing during halftime of a Belmont men's basketball game. He got his next semester's tuition paid in full because of it. That's about 25 grand. You know, you're going to miss a shot. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about none of that. I was just, you know, just going in the moment. It's your time, man. You know, take opportunity, you know. So it's a moment like I would just never forget. Yeah, he says he's always going to remember the crowd going wild. Now, the biology freshman says he's going to save the money that he would have spent on tuition. We'll be right back. You have three burgers. You sharing, you eating all three. No, I'm eating them all. You wouldn't share your burger with me. Not this burger. The burgers you make at your house? Yeah, we can share that. That's Ooh. no problem. Sonic garlic butter bacon burger. What if I'm hungry? Absolutely not. It's the ultimate boy band holiday party, and all your favorites are invited. Sing along to all the holiday classics. This is a boy band holiday. A very boy band holiday, Monday on ABC. Amenti Beauty Academy, the Basin's only privately owned cosmetology school, is now open for enrollment. Get the best possible education in our salon-like atmosphere and have a new career in as little as six months. You guys, I've been thinking a lot about these shipping shortages. I just don't want our customers to have to deal with this type of thing. You know, I don't want them to wait either, but we have stuff coming in every day and we have component accounts to do builds with Titleist, Callaway, TaylorMade, and a few others. Well, how about this? Just to kind of ease your mind on that and our customers' minds, why don't we just offer with purchase free fittings until December 24th and then that way, they can wait while it's cold outside and be ready by spring. That's a great idea. I love that. Yeah. Guys, I also have some great ideas for some Christmas deals. 
COVID-19 booster shots are now available in New Mexico. Why are you getting yours? I'm getting my booster shot so I can spend time with my whole family without worrying about it. I'm getting my booster with my friends so we can keep doing weekly breakfast together. So I can keep teaching without any distractions. So I can go to work for my family. I'm getting my booster shot for my family. My community. And myself. Whatever your reason, you can schedule your booster shot today at vaccinenm.org. I love a good deal. <laughs> I love finding good deals like this because this Fritos Chili Cheese Junior Wrap is 99 cents. I feel like they just marked it wrong, but I'm not telling. Right. Sonic Fritos Chili Cheese Junior Wrap. Let's take one let's look at that seven day forecast and pretty much the sun is going to come out eventually by the time we get into 3 p.m. And it's going to be pretty warm sitting at 76 degrees. Definitely not too bad whatsoever, Rob. We're going to need that 76 and that's going to cool us. Warm us up for a nice cool evening. <laughs> well, I absolutely agree, and I look forward to it. Thank you. And that's all the time we have for news tonight. Join us tomorrow when we uh, have ABC Big Two News at 10.